guys and welcome back to my channel Let's just take a seat here okay guys so today i'm actually going to be making a beautiful uh tray a crystal tray these will be in the bottom of it this will be sort of featuring in it um i have my glue gun set to go um some wire some scissors some uh super glue yes super glue and obviously the crystals that i need now for the tray you will need four uh sorry three uh these are eight by ten you can use any size you want to make this tray i've got these eight by ten frames from the pound shop and my mum had a spare eight by ten mirror that was also from the pound shop in a brown frame so i've taken the liberty of already taking that apart and I've got two frames left over so how we're going to do this is well I've got to put the camera down first of all so let me just set up and I will show you what I'm actually about to do so this this mirror will need to be stuck down because it is just placed in the frame so I'm going to do that now um, before I do anything else because this is the only thing that's actually staying. Now you can, I am gonna take the back off this because as I put the tray down, this flips out and I don't wanna accidentally keep it there and break it. So I'm gonna take all this off, all the hardware as they call it, put this aside for another project. I'm not sure how to take this bit off the back, so I'm, Without breaking it, I'm just gonna prise it, pry it off. There we go. It's a little bit battered. That is sharp, guys. I've just bloody hurt my finger on that. So I'm gonna put that away. Ouch. So it hasn't actually damaged, it's only damaged this side, so I'm gonna turn it that way. We're gonna take this out. Here's the just the paper. Here is the mirror. This is what I need to bring out. It doesn't fit properly. Um, it is quite a bit, a little teeny tiny bit smaller. So now that's in, I'm just going to put this back on top, just for an extra layer of thickness, protection, I don't know. And then this is going to go down on top. So that creates a nice base now for the, the tray. Got a nice base there. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to flip the mirror over. Try not to worry about all the glue around the edges, it really doesn't matter at this stage um, so the next thing I'm going to do is uh, take it apart as you did with the last one lose this entirely don't need this at all take out the paper don't know what that was so yeah, you'll be placing this one upside down onto the mirror, so you'll have the points sticking out. Usually people remove these entirely, but I'm actually gonna keep them for safety. So the next thing I wanna do is test to see if these crystals fit inside this, in this part here. So I'm gonna open this now and pour it in here. They should fit because they're pretty much the same size. Yep, yeah, they fit perfect. Absolutely perfect.
thing you want to do is place the frame down. So we're gonna actually put this down first and then we'll glue the mirror into the, the frame. Okay, so I'm just gonna use this to glue the corners down. I don't think we'll need anything more than that just because we've got the um we've, we've got the the little iron bits going down on it to clasp the glass right so that is pretty secure anyway ow that's hot and then i'm just going to use these to pin the glass into place so that is that and we have Oh my god, how beautiful is that? Oh my god, this sees so much glitter. Okay, so obviously it will be down like this, so we won't have to worry about that. Right now, to hide these black bits, because like I said, most people get rid of them, um, but I'm keeping them. So I've actually pre cut some gems, these are going to go down on the glass. That's that side, actually. No, it's not. No, it is that. It is right. It is right. I've done it right. So I've got the long pieces for the sides. And then I've got the short pieces for these sides. And I'm just going to glue these down with the glue gun. Yeah, perfect. actually looks really pretty already um you so you could actually leave that up but obviously the we're at the back of the frame here so what i'm going to do now is use the third frame let's get rid of some of this rubbish shall we i'm going to use the third frame to go on top so you're going to dismantle the third frame entirely so you don't need the glass or the backing so we're going to get rid of that. Hopefully your third frame is in good condition and not cracked in any way. Like mine? No, it's not. It's fine. <laughs> and then this will go down like this. But obviously when you're looking across, you can actually see the inside. So what I'm going to do before I glue this down is actually glue a strip of bling wrap to this edge as well. Um, just to keep it um, looking neat. Okay guys, so we have finally finished this, uh, this part. Um, so all we have to do now is glue this to this this far. Right, so here I go.
I think it worked guys I think it worked all the pieces have come down and are now covering yeah it's perfect ah, it worked it only bloody worked guys it's done okay so here's the finished product isn't it gorgeous absolutely stunning so let me just move them back so as you can see all the inside oh sorry all the inside now is all hidden you can't actually tell without really looking that the black pins are still in the frames not really so yeah this is you can actually end here but i'm gonna cover up the edges outside. so what i'm gonna use is just the bling wrap i mean it's got plenty of uses i was gonna put some bling wrap here and here and have handles but I'm not sure yet so we'll see we'll see okay so I've got a choice of uh, beads to put along the top um, I, do you know what it's so bling already I'm not sure what I want to do now so I'm just gonna cover up this strip here and when I've done that I'll come back and we will decide what we're gonna do on the top because it is really pretty at the moment um, so I might even just use the really skinny gems and just go over the corners and just have like a, just cover up these bits. So literally just go one like that. So yeah, we shall see, we shall see. So I'm just gonna lift this up and start placing the bling wrap just over the gaps in the in the tray so not completely from top to bottom but from you know sort of midway just to cover up those gaps so when i finish that i'll get back to you okay guys so here is the tray um it's all wrapped all the way around so you can no longer see the gaps in the frames and you could probably never tell that it was actually a picture frame. Um, I'm hoping so anyway. Um, I absolutely love this DIY. And I'm, I'm still not sure whether to add ha handles or not. But I'm just going to go ahead and place the skinny gems on top here. Because we want to keep this one quite simple. Uh, even though it's not very simple right now. Look at all that bling. Um, so yeah, we're just going to add the little gems. And um, yeah, we'll still... Still undecided on the handles as yet. Right, so, oh my God, this, this tray. Oh guys, the tray's not, what's happened here? Why is the paint coming off? <gasps> look at that. I didn't even touch that and look at it. I don't know if you can see that it's all worn off here. It might have been when it was upside down. At the moment. So I'm going to leave this as it is. Um, just because this video has gone on far too long of me being indecisive and phone calls. But here is the finished product. So yeah, I'm happy with this and it's gonna look absolutely gorgeous. Let's put let's put some bits on it. I'm just hoping this doesn't break with weightier stuff. Oh my god, that is really heavy. Um so yeah, look how pretty that is. How gorgeous is that? I'm so happy with it. I'm so happy with all the crystals inside. It's just so nice. So so nice. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs guys, up. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next DIY. Take care. Hey, guys. So I went for both of the long sides um, with the small gems and then the big sticky gems, as you can see. And I did this side as well. I've left these ends plain just because I'm going to buy some small uh, glass doorknobs that you can get from B&M or the range and I'm going to stick a couple on either side as handles so I've left those plain 
but this is the outcome of what I did after the video. I was rushing because I had to be somewhere, but it actually turned out really, really beautiful, really beautiful, and I'm so happy with it. So, guys, yeah, that was the uh, that that was the outcome. I will probably update you and show you a picture once I've finished. I maybe should have made some handles from the bling wrap, but I think the gems will look really good there. So, yes, here it is. She's beautiful, and I love it.